For decades now, scientists have been on a hunt, a hunt for glowing, colorful ribbons of light, or what's called auroras, like the widely popular northern and southern lights here on Earth. Scientists were trying to find something similar on Neptune, the farthest planet in our solar system. And at last, their decades-long quest has come to an end. For the first time ever, scientists have spotted colorful waves in the atmosphere of this icy giant. And they're nothing like the ones we see on our planet. Here's a report. Mainly green, but also red. And sometimes even pink, purple, or blue. These ribbons of light on Earth's north and south poles are some of its most fascinating features. But this doesn't mean that our planet is the only one with auroras. Over the years, scientists have found auroras on most planets including Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and Uranus. But for decades now, scientists have not been able to find these lights on one planet. The solar system's most distant planet, Neptune. This sky-blue ice giant is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. And its auroras have long eluded astronomers. That is, until now. Scientists have finally spotted a shimmering, glowing spectacle in its atmosphere. And this is all thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. It is a very powerful instrument. It has highly sensitive infrared instruments, and it was able to capture the diaphanous colors of light. But why is this discovery important? To understand this, let's talk about the basics. Auroras happen when energetic particles or high-energy charged particles from the sun slam into a planet's atmosphere and bounce off the gases. This is a particle collision, and it causes flashes of light. Auroras have a lot to do with a planet's magnetic field, its strength, its location. This is what guides the auroras, which means that each planet generates auroras differently. On Earth, you will find auroras arching over the poles because this is where the magnetic field interacts with the solar wind. But this is not true for Neptune. Its unique auroras spill over either side of its equator, because this planet has a wonky magnetic field. If this sounds weird, hold up. Much like their location, their range differs as well. On Earth, auroras form a panoply of colors. On Jupiter, they are the most powerful in the solar system. They are not dancing colors, but permanent caps of ultraviolet lights. Four of its moons have auroras too. Saturn has UV auroras too, as does Mars. Venus has green auroras. Mercury has X-ray auroras. They are not visible to the naked eye because the planet has no atmosphere. Meanwhile, on Neptune, the auroras come in colors but they are much duller like the ones we see on Earth, because this planet is ice cold, and colder temperatures mean fainter auroras. These subtle differences make the dance of atmospheric lights all the more interesting, but this discovery also does so much more. It will allow scientists to learn more about this planet far, far away, and this could reveal what was previously hidden much like the aurora itself. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. No, I, I love India. Presence, uh, occupation of a territory by another country pertains to India. What we saw in Kashmir. The Prime Minister How do you see Trump's America? Yes, the current administration behaves differently from the previous administration. Are you saying that there are foreign powers who are trying to bring down the current government in yes, Syria? Exactly. Bulangi, Iran, maybe Ra Russia too. Prime Minister Modi committed to uh, South-South, you know, corporations. For, 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 Not over 50%. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty. 